Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Mukaira and I am an instructor with Sarkaf Learning. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create view. So, what, what do you use view for? Uh, you use view for a couple of things, uh, uh, one of which it could be you want to limit what a particular um, users can see, it could be you want to enhance uh, 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 um, the way uh, um, the uh, the kind of query um, the user needs to write to see something. For instance, uh, let's say for this case, uh, let's do a couple of things. Let me check. I have a table called employees. So if I run this, and let's just go to the column job title. You see, I have a couple of employees here. I have the sales web, I have the sales manager, NA, sales manager, email. EMEA, sales manager, APAC, I'm the VP marketing, I'm the VP sales, and I'm the president. So let's say I, I have a user within my database and I want that person to be able to, to, to query the employee table, but I want him to be able to see only data of job type of employees with the job title of sales rep. I could create a, a kind of a view for this. Yeah. Another instance could be I could have two tables that I need to join to see the full details. And the people that need to query my table are not so good in writing SQL queries. So I could join it within a view and um, they just need to query that view with just a simple select statement. And um, they are fine. Let's do a sample, the one I just met, I, I first mentioned, yeah, where I want my employee i want my user to only see um data of employees with the job title of sales rep. so let's create a table let's create a view that can only do this so to create a view what you need to first do is to do create view how you give it the view name so let's just call it v underscore employee sales rep of course this and then i uh i just on then i know something to say as i tell him i want to create this view as what well. select everything from um uh, employees where job title equals sales rep Something to run this, and uh, we would let's just look down here. We'll see it when it's successful. So, yeah, create view, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm successful. So, how do I know if I've created this view? So, I'm on my SQL workbench. So, the easiest way to know is I'm on this uh, classic model um, schema. So, I'm just going to refresh this. And uh, if you see under my view, I have a new view called V Employee Sales Web. So, I can just query that, I can just select everything from V underscore employee underscore sales rep. And uh, I'm just going to run this and let's see what we have. If you see now, all the employees that I'm not seeing here all have a job title of sales employee. So if I run for only for all employees, I will see all kind of job title. If I run this again, and then I'm seeing uh, I'm job title of sales reps alone. So view enables us to do that. And the user that is um, querying this uh, 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 would not even know the difference if it's a view or a table. They will quit as if they are creating, uh, uh, they are querying the table. So the V I put is just a convention I use to be able to distinguish a table from a view. So I normally start with V, anything view with V, so that uh, me as designer of my table, as the administrator of, of, of the database, I will know uh, whenever I see view starting, V starting uh, any uh, any name. So I will know this actually is a view, but me looking at it, I can't actually say uh, if it's a view uh, or, or a table. So this is how you can create uh, a view uh, uh, and some of the reasons why you would want to create um, a view. So thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about data sciences and databases, uh, kindly log on to www.sacaclearning.com. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe to this channel and also drop your comment below.